recommend you um, spend as little time as this exploring um, what is a pretty intense hamstring stretch, um, hip flexor stretch, it's quite abby for your balance, never mind wobbly on your elbows. So do spend more time than I am, um, <laughs> being a really bad role model, uh, but also I'm just trying to actually do what I said I would do in the five minutes that I've got to do it. Um, so again, extended bound lizard, what the flip. Um, so in yoga we have lots of like animal names that we kind of apply to a particular movement. You've probably heard of like downward dog and upward dog, um, and then you can end up with like three-legged dog or scorpion dog and all these things that go from downward dog, the sort of classic shape, or um, I guess I chucked upward dog in there just for the dog, but I don't really think of too many like variations on upward dog, so scratch that. Uh, pigeon, another common name, basically uh, applies to like that figure four leg shape or um, the external rotation of, of a hip, usually the front leg. Um, and then lizard. And so lizard, do like your, your sort of standard lizard is a lunge, and it's usually a low lunge where you're trying to really open up this back legs, hip, um, hip flexor, and sort of into the quad, into the thigh. Um, so, you know, a pretty average lizard lunge would be front leg. Your knee can be in front of your ankle or behind or on top. Really, most important is that you know where it is. And then maybe your hands are in the mat, or maybe your elbows are in the mat. Um, you can do the same arms with or without the back knee lifted. Just exploring, just being really careful here that your hips don't rotate too much. So that's your lizard, it's a really good warm up um, for this pose. Another thing to think of is your hamstrings. Now I have naturally quite stretchy hamstrings, thankfully quite strong ones now too, because I used to get into all kinds of trouble. Um, but you're gonna wanna open up the back of the leg that's gonna be shooting out over your arm. So uh, from this position, you can just pull back into a half split. I've activated my foot, um, but left it down, or you can pull it up. Just try and pay attention to keeping your quads engaged so that your hamstrings can't go past whatever their 100 is for today. Now I'm pretty stiff. This is gonna be a quite an ugly version. I don't know how I managed it so fast last time, but I did. <laughs> I don't advise it, as I said. You can just rock between the two, uh, another really nice one I like to do is lizard twist. So placing your opposite hand to front foot down, reaching the other arm back, and then squeezing that back leg up and taking hold of your foot. Now immediately that travels right down my thigh. So you can stay square with your hips and shoulders, or you can make it more of a twist, which feels quite nice. Or you could come back up and maybe hold your foot with both hands. Um, you could also put your foot against the wall and maybe stabilise yourself with blocks. Just do whatever works for you. Just really try and keep this out of your lower back. So for me, thankfully, my muscle memory is well enough trained to let me do all this ridiculous stuff. My core is usually on without me thinking about it. But really do try and get into the habit of thinking about lifting the pelvic floor, engaging that area between the belly button and the pubic bone, and trying to draw your sides into the middle. Once you start practicing that consciously, eventually it will become subconscious and you can be as stupid as me exploring ridiculous ideas um, without thinking about them. But I definitely recommend thinking about it to start with. So once you've warmed up the back leg, warmed up the front leg a little, there's lots of things you could do. Pyramid's also a nice one. Um, I'm gonna spin around so you can just see uh, the front leg first and then I'll spin back to this side for the other. Um, so I'm not gonna make any um, hide anything about this, I'm definitely doing my happier to extend extended leg and my happier to open open hip. <laughs> so for me I'm quite one-sided, my left side's way more open and my right side's much happier to contract and do strong stuff. It's just the way I am. Um, so I'm showing you that. I'll have a go on my bad side afterwards, okay? So once you've had a go at your basic lizards, you really need to explore getting right down inside this knee inside with your shoulder and then trying to get your shoulder under your leg and then reaching that hand back and squeezing that back foot up and taking hold if you can't do this bit then you're going to struggle probably to do the next bit but remember it doesn't matter it's just a yoga pose and then resting down on this elbow maybe bringing your hand across and just taking a few breaths to check that you're really here and then placing your hand on the mat, starting to creep that front leg forwards. 
and then keeping hold, finding all that core strength, pulling you away from the mat while also pressing the hand down, reaching that front leg out, and cracking a smile for the camera. <laughs> oh, I'm trembling. Okay, let's try the bad side. Okay, right, so let's just open up this thigh a little. Oh, it feels tight already. Okay, so coming down, resting on the opposite elbow, squeezing all oh, that back leg in, shuffling back so I'm in shot. Okay, so from here, I'm reaching out. Oh, not so bad. I'm breathing. <laughs> okay, totally ridiculous. Um, but quite fun, a huge potential for injury, so be careful, um, but also don't be afraid, just be smart, yeah? So um, that's me done. <laughs> uh, I hope you liked it, leave a comment, tag me if you, uh, if you have a go, at Yoga with Lizzie Higgins on Insta, um, and yeah, that was extended bound lizard, um, which I really like actually, it's really fun. Um, so yeah, namaste. Thanks so much guys for watching. I really hope you enjoyed having a go at this uh, crazy pose. Please remember, play safe and let me know how it went.